And so I work during the summers in Newfoundland where I have a, a composition studio. It's really old school. Because it's an island, it's so isolated, things don't change, so it's almost like you went in a time machine and went back. It's amazing because I'm not from Eastern Canada, I'm from the heartland, but I'm so drawn to that, that marine environment. There's guys that have been fishing there for generations. And it's open ocean. The waves are huge and the, and the weather can change at any time because it's so exposed. These guys going out these tiny little boats. Traditionally, they had shipwrecks that everyone kind of knows about when a, sh a big ship would go down and they lose like a certain number of people. So I wrote this piece, Elysium, last year. It was for orchestra, recorded sound, and, and amplified solo cello. But the recorded sound part is I took these folkloric recordings of old Newfoundlanders talking about shipwrecks and I wove them together into it so it sounds like one story, it's like a meta story. Oh, she wrote 10, 12,000 times. Someday I'll tell you about it, sir. And they were going to Sydney with a load of salt boat herring. I found this one lady who's, who she actually recites this hymn because she's talking about this old relative of hers that was in a shipwreck and he he got stranded on a rock and he sang this hymn all night and then he was rescued the next morning. Maybe the seabirds in their nests heard his voice. And best of all, God heard him in heaven and had mercy on him. It's dangerous because the, the ocean's volatile and I think that's why their religious faith is so strong. It was so strong because it's a way of dealing with that, that volatility.